Dee 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 dee. We need to clean up out here. Sick. So today's goals are to pull the front sheet metal off of this thing. Well, it'll probably take me two days. Uh, because what I figured out, let me show you, is the front bumper sticks out nearly two feet. I'll say hi, Maisie. Two feet beyond the front of the frame. So if I pull the entire front clip off, which I need to anyway, then I can actually squeeze this thing into my uh, shop, or actually my front garage, where I'm going to leave it. And then I'm going to pull the motor out, cut the front of the frame off, and uh, do a frame stub.
finally got all that welded in. It's been a few days getting there. And uh, the moment of truth. And that's definitely going to work. It's got uh, about seven inches of lift. I'm going to have to adjust it with the spacer here and there once I get uh, all the weight and everything else into the car. But for the moment, uh, it's in good shape. So I'm going to, well, attempt to roll it into the uh, garage anyways. It is an absolutely beautiful day today. It's December 30th, 75 degrees outside, sun is shining. Oh, perfect day to work on a car. Beautiful uh, southern uh, winter day. This will be fun to get off. You know, one piece at a time. About 95 million bolts and screws that have never been taken off in 70 years. So I've been kind of wondering what to do with this suspension here. So I'm just going to chop it all off. Right at the firewall. Uh, this is one of those points where having friends would be uh, nice, but since nobody likes me, you know, it is what it is. There she is, the crustiest motor you've ever seen. Let's take this sucker out of here. That'll be today's plan. I guess I'll have to cut the piece of chain that's holding it in there. Well, that seems all right. 
I'm gonna do away with all of this here. <laughs> so in my thinking of this suspension, I had a couple different ideas. One would be to make new A-arms totally, adapt newer style spindles and brakes on the steering. But I was looking around and but I was looking around and I found that Fat Man Fabrications builds a frame stub. Uh, just regular IFS, normal stuff. Um, so I think I'm actually going to cut the front of this thing off and just build a whole new frame stub based on a, you know, a standard. I guess Mustang 2 is what really uh, everybody uses, but uh, something similar. The uh, 59 Chevy Apache has the same track width. So I'll probably use that as a base and then build around that. At least that's my plan as of, you know, the moment here. Easy. Take and chop it off somewhere in front of this mount here. Just need to make sure that my bumper bolts are in the right spot. And then my front mount for the, well, core support I guess is all in the same spot and then go from there this is kind of what I'm thinking of the second here but I don't know I might change it what that uh what that weld is I don't know did they braze it on there I'm not quite sure strange color well let's gonna cut it anyway Transmission fluid came out, which is surprising that it's fluid and not water. Who knows? Really surprised that the fluid was red. So how would it be possible that the engine gets flooded but the transmission does not? I have no idea. But that is as crusty as can be. Maybe tomorrow I'll blow this thing apart just for fun. The uh, weather is currently so nice that I'm tempted to leave it out here, but I know it's going to turn on me. It is like 76 degrees on December 30th. Uh, absolutely cannot complain about today. But I did get the motor out and all that good stuff, so we're making progress. Hopefully tomorrow I can get it into the garage. Most definitely some sketchy things going on here. I got the back sitting on carts. I got it tied off with a come along to my uh, lift in here so I can pull it in. Been trying to wiggle this thing around so I can get it into position. It's just a big old, big old heap. It's too tall to fit under the 40, so I can't double stack currently. So hopefully I'm gonna push this thing out of the driveway shortly here. It's December 31st. Hoping to uh, close the year out, uh, not dead or injured or anything like that. So making progress. Nothing sketchy to see here at all, nothing. Oh, did I mention the weather is gorgeous? Ah. 
This is what we call genius at work. Or something like that. <laughs> so now if I can push it out in my driveway, I'll be in good shape. Made it this far. Here's my 5.3 that I got out of 05 Suburban that's gonna go in this thing. So over here on the floor, I got a pin that I put in here to hook my come along to, and I'm just gonna drag that baby right on in here. I move heavy stuff for a living, so I always got some some way to make things happen. I get more ideas than friends apparently, but uh, hey, it gets the job done, right? And that is kind of close. I think that's well used. Every time I turn this thing on, it costs me $20, but it's worth it. 
Now's the time. I uh, got all set up and forgot to turn the plasma cutter on, so I gotta wait a minute. All right, now it's for real. Well, that didn't quite turn out the way it was supposed to. I'm trying to make a set of wheel stands. So I guess I'll have to redo it. Yeah, that was about 40 bucks in the garbage. Well, I'll try again. All right, let's give this a try again. Another 40 bucks in the garbage. No, no! Stop, stop! Fuck. I was, uh, I was just kidding. All right, so these buttons here are important. You're supposed to zero everything out before you hit the magic go button. Well, that looks a heck of a lot better. <clears throat> Ooh, it's gonna be hot. Hot, hot, hot. Well, that ain't work. Temper bagger. Beep. Ugh. You need these. No, I can't get it off. Damn it. All right, hold on. So that right there is a wheel stand. I'll put a base on it. and Use that to set ride height with my front suspension while everything is taken apart. Ow. So can anybody out there in plasma table land tell me why I cannot get square cuts on my metal. It's like everything wants to go to an angle even though my the torch is set square and still every angle or every edge is at an angle. And they all seem to go the same direction. I can't figure it out. So if you know, let me know. God damn, it's hot. <laughs> One of the problems with plasma is it leaves a big, uh, big booger when it cuts things out. You gotta knock off and grind, and it's just, it's just not fantastic. Well, there we go. And just like the girl said when I lost my virginity, well, that was disappointing. Thinking maybe I'll have this sent off and get laser cut. Kind of needs to be a little more precise. Oh, 
And that is what I'm building. A stand to set up your suspension and your ride height. So taking the measurement off a 28 inch tall tire, it's 14 inches here to the center. So if I set this up, bolt it to the floor, I know my exact ride height, and now I can build around it. This will work on a rear end, front suspension, whatever. Um, might maybe make it adjustable, but I've been wanting a set of these for a long time. So uh, today's the day, as they say. So I definitely need these for the uh, Cadillac uh, to set the frame up there. So it'll work. Oh, you sexy beast. Stupid camera. Those are gonna work for sure. Bolt those up and that'll make uh, my jig fixture and hell, mounting rear ends and everything a hell of a lot easier than it's been. Fantastic. This here is the most awesome square ever. Uh, this is from Fireball Tool. So if you happen to come across them, they're on YouTube here and uh, get one of these. They come in a bigger size too. Love this thing. Let's go try them out. It's a little tight. Need to hit those with the grinder a little bit, open them up, I think, and we should be all right. Also made these that will position where the front bumper mount holes are. So we're getting there. Yeah, don't leave your camera stand next to your heater. Trying to get some of these knocked out. We're headed to Fort Worth on a little travel adventure. Um, supposed to be going to uh, Fort Worth to the uh, stockyards and uh, Poke around there, a lot of history spots there. Uh, we're gonna do the Haunted Pub Tour, which should be a damn good time because who doesn't like drinking and ghosts? Um, trying to stay at the uh, Miss Molly's uh, Haunted Bordello, which is supposed to be the most haunted uh, hotel in all of Texas, which, you know, they of course all say that, but uh, you know, the Bordello, I like to uh, give a little bit back to the ladies once in a while, so we'll see how that goes. And just about ready to rock and roll. As you can see, the uh, winter weather has arrived. So I think I am done for the day. But my goals are to... I'm going to build a jig. And then I'm going to cut that off there. 
build a whole new frame stub properly of course hoping that it'll have a better turnout than that uh, disaster of a 41. Anyways, uh, that'll be uh, next year's project, I guess, since it's the end of the year and uh, all new beginnings. Uh, thank you for following along, uh, at least this far. It's been one heck of a crazy year. Uh, I've worked uh, nearly 80 hours every week uh, this year working on different projects and whatnot. We have a whole bunch of stuff planned for next year, uh, both Laura and I. So uh, thank you very much for following along. Please subscribe and we'll see you next year. All right, let's get back to work.